It is snowy outside and cold, and here I am with a big plate of mini Christmas moss. I'm not actually eating it, I just thought it looked funny if I put a fork next to it. If you're a vegan and your mouth is starting to water right now, just let me know. This does look delicious. I trimmed this enormous clump of moss just to give you an idea of how enormous it is. This is my hand. I have little hands, but still, that's a big clump of moss. Now, I'm having a little bit of problem with my moss in my planted project tank that I haven't really showed anybody yet. This is mini Christmas moss, and it's a really compact, dense, bushy variety of moss that's just beautiful. It's such, such a nice, nice, moss. I've really been enjoying mine, except it's infested with blackbeard algae. I've been fighting blackbeard algae in my moss for a while now, and I can't, it, it doesn't seem like I'm making that much of a difference. There are a lot of different ways you can get rid of blackbeard algae, at least according to people, you know, according to things I read online and advice people give me. Some people say to increase the CO2. Well, I do run pressure, pressurized CO2. I have CO2. Some people say to increase the light. Some people say to decrease light. Some people say to do the EI method of fertilizing, which is like an everyday type of fertilizing that resets every week. Some people say to add pothos into your aquarium. Some people say to make sure there's lots of flow on it because blackbeard algae hates flow. I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know really what to listen to. So this video is going to be a little bit different than some of my other videos because I'm going to be doing an experiment or at least starting an experiment. One thing that people do to kill the algae that is in moss is they dose hydro hydrogen peroxide. Um, I've read that you should just spray hydrogen peroxide onto the affected moss when you're doing a water change. So I did it. That was a while ago and I killed all of my moss. All of it died. Look it. See all this big, beautiful moss right here? Imagine this times two looking amazing in my aquarium and I spray hydrogen peroxide on it when I'm doing a water change one day and it all dies and it all turns brown and just melts away and I was so sad. I had to buy a lot more mini Christmas moss just to get started again. It's snowing even more. Man, I love this. I love it. There's nothing quite like having a hobby that involves tropical fish and plants when it's freezing cold outside and covered in snow. So I'm setting up a little experiment. I'm going to put a little bit of Christmas moss in each one of these cups with a certain amount of hydrogen peroxide in different doses and I'm going to see what happens to see if the moss dies. One clump of moss is going to be my control group. Nothing is going to happen to it. One group of moss is going to have a straight treatment on the moss and let it sit for a moment and then put it back into water. One of them is going to be uh, sitting in a solution of hydrogen peroxide of, of two milliliters per gallon, or about half a milliliter per liter. And the last one's going to be a little, like a super light dose of two milliliters per 10 gallons, or about uh, 0.05 of a milliliter per liter. Let's divide up my little moss salad here. You probably hear the TV going on in the background, sorry about that, but I had to distract the toddler for a minute because she'd see this big plate of moss and want to spread it throughout the house. So here's the control group. Nothing has happened to it. This is just as it is when it came out of my aquarium. This is my little clump that's going to be my straight treatment, which I've seen online and I've heard from people is to just, oh, when you're doing a water change, just squirt hydrogen peroxide all over your affected area. So that's what this is simulating. It's kind of like I'm doing a water change and I'm just kind of, oh, this is, this is all pretty bad. I'm just squirt, squirt, squirting. I can hear it bubble. So now to simulate filling the tank back up, it goes back into its little cup and then I'll fill it back up with plain old water. Now I'm going to treat this mini Christmas moss at a dose of two milliliters a gallon or about half a milliliter per liter. I have my dose right here, putting it in a liter of water, mix it around. Okay, now I'll take this dosage and pour it in. Now it's time to make a solution that has a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of hydrogen peroxide in it at two milliliters per 10 gallons. I saw this recommendation and I'm going to try it. I don't know if I can really measure this right. Uh, it's basically like a couple drops. So this experiment is more to see what happens to the moss 
And I'm also interested to see what happens to the Blackbeard algae, if I can tell a difference. For the super low dosing, here we go. Someone on the internet swore that this worked against Blackbeard algae. Here's a quick update on my Corydora eggs. They all look pretty good except for two. I had to remove two because um, they were white from the get-go and I they were starting to look a little bit fuzzy because they were obviously infertile, they didn't take. But the rest of them look pretty good. My immersed plants are looking pretty good. Ever since I redid the tank, my Ludwigia is really growing in crazy red and cool. And then my new red root floaters that I got, they're definitely starting to grow. The new growth looks green. That's because I'm not dosing enough iron. But everything else looks good. I'm peeking at it from below its saran wrap lid. I started a new container of AR Mini, and it kind of looked like it was all going to die, but I see new growth, so that makes me glad. I'm finally finding a little bit of time tonight to take this LED light of mine and attach it to the ceiling to get it away from the tanks so they're not full of algae all the time. To do this, I fasten zip ties that have a little screw hole at the end um, into each side of, well, you'll see. There, that's what I meant. So the zip ties, I just kind of used them to screw this LED light up to the top. And I still need to cut the plastic, the ends off, because those are silly looking. This guy is being a great daddy so far. He's taking care of his eggs really nicely. You keep it up. You keep it up. This is Simply Bettis signing off. Well, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching my daily vlog series, and I'll see you tomorrow.